Hello students! This is your flipped grammar lesson on kinds of sentences. This topic should be mostly review for you. To complete this lesson, you will need your WISC worksheet, which is also available on Edmodo if you lost yours. You'll also need a pen or a pencil. Let's get started. On the top of the worksheet, be sure to fill out your name and the unit of study, which is kinds of sentences. Then, fill out the section W that tells where and when you watched this video. Remember, for the S portion, you will be writing a five sentence summary of what's coming up next. Are you ready? The first kind of sentence is a declarative sentence. The base word from declarative is declare, which means to state something. The same way, this kind of sentence makes a statement and ends with a period. Some examples of declarative sentences are, Olivia looked at Maud in awe, and the chef cut the onion. Both of these sentences make a simple statement and end with a period. Declarative sentence, the kids like to play in the park, ends with a period and makes a statement. The next kind of sentence is interrogative. Interrogative sentences ask questions. That means they end with a question mark. You can tell that an interrogative sentence asks a question by looking at the root word. The root word of interrogative is interrogate. If you watch any police dramas, you might have heard of police interrogating their suspects or asking them a lot of questions. Some examples of interrogative sentences are, Jack, are you all right? And, do you have anything to add? In both of these sentences, we're asking a question, so we end with a question mark, and the inflection of our voice goes up at the end to indicate we would like an answer. Make it across the monkey bars. It's interrogative and ends with a question mark because it asks a question. Exclamatory sentences are the next kind of sentence we'll be learning about in this video. Exclamatory sentences express a strong feeling and end with an exclamation point. That exclamation point should show you that someone has that feeling of anger or excitement or some other strong emotion that's associated with whatever the sentence is talking about. Some examples of exclamatory sentences are, My new bike is so fast! and I love grammar so much. Both of these sentences show strong emotion and end with an exclamation point. So they are exclamatory sentences. Yes, I did it. The sentence is exclamatory because it ends with an exclamation point and it shows a, a feeling of strong emotion. The last sentence type is imperative. Imperative sentences can be a little bit tricky because there are two kinds of punctuation marks they can use. However, as long as you keep in mind that imperative sentences give an order or command, you'll do fine in figuring out the difference. Imperative sentences can end with a period or an exclamation point. Some examples of imperative sentences are, pass the potatoes please, and hold on tight. Both of these are giving some type of an order or command. That's what makes them imperative sentences. Watch out for your brother! This sentence is imperative, and it can end with an exclamation point if it shows strong emotion, but it can also end with a period. This sentence makes a command. <laughs> to complete this assignment, please fill out the S and Q sections of your WISC worksheet. In the S section, write a five sentence summary of what you learned from the video. In the Q section, write a question you might have about something you did not understand in the video. If you have no questions, 
Then create a test question for your classmates. Make sure your assignment is completed by the due date and that it's turned in on time. Thanks for watching and see you again next time.